Good morning, guten morgen, magenzanumaga, konnichiwa, bonjour. So, the other day, today's Monday, the other day on Saturday I was out driving um, to go visit my family and there, I notice a lot of times when I'm driving through West Fields, there are um, a couple of pairs of Jehovah's Witnesses in town. On the main drag, they have their watchtower stand and I notice them standing there often, actually a handful of different places in Westfield. You know, you have a couple of gentlemen on one and then the ladies are, are um, have their designated areas. And I was thinking about a time when I used to have Jehovah's Witnesses come to my house over 10 years ago when my girls were younger. And um, I tried to be as polite. Um, I always try to be polite. I'm not, uh, I'm not ever uh, naturally rude or anything like that. But I'd always take their watchtowers, their flyer, their magazine, and then I wind up recycling it later. I never read them. Uh, but I, I didn't want to seem disrespectful even back then. Uh, even though I didn't have a relationship with the Lord yet and I did believe in a higher power. I did believe in a God. I just wasn't um, brought up in a religious family. I didn't have any knowledge of the Bible and scripture at all way, you know, most of my life. So long story short, I've spoken to some Jehovah's Witnesses and they believe that the 144,000 are among their um, group, their doctrine. That they have a day, I think it's in April, where they pass around a cup with wine and only those who have been assigned, not assigned, I shouldn't say that, who claim that they're one of the 144, they take a drink of that cup and they wind up passing the cup down. Now this assembly that they have in April, it's from many different districts and they go to um, one area. So it's a lot of different kingdom, um, what do they call that? Their church, kingdom halls, um, go to one assembly on that day um, to acknowledge or to celebrate whatever that day that they're celebrating. <laughs> Sorry. So anyhow, as I was driving and I saw them on Saturday, it got me to think about a lot of different theories and a lot of different lies that have been told about the 144,000. And if you go on YouTube, there's no shortage of um, misdirected rabbit holes that you can go down, people that have their opinions and theories on what the 144, who they are and what they're capable of, etc. Like there's a there's a large group of people that think the 144 have special superpowers or they're going to have superpowers. Um, that one seems to be more of a um, like Marvel comic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it it's interesting. I'm not I'm not laughing at those that believe that because they truly earnestly 100% in their heart they they believe they're following the lies that they're following because the spirits in them that are have taken throne in their crown have convinced them conned them of this lie, just like there's a Hebrew roots movement where there are men, black men who think they're the only ones that are part of the 144,000. There's a lot of different people who believe a lot of different lies. So I'm going to make a part two because my little dog is taking a drink <laughs> and I don't know how long this video is. I don't want to make it too long because it takes forever for it to upload. But I would like to discuss 
further um, what I have learned through scripture. My sheep hear my voice. It, it's not an audible voice. It means that I read the Lord's word and I understand what it means. That's all that means. My sheep hear my voice. My sheep, it means my sheep know the truth. They know the truth. They know what scripture is saying because you have to have his Holy Spirit and you must be born again in Christ to understand what scripture means. So I'm going to make a part two. Um, uh, hopefully this long intro doesn't completely bore you. <laughs> Get to the point. <laughs> I love you and God bless.